Hello everybody, it's Nocturno from 4Botters and this is tutorial number two of the Conquer Client Modifications tutorials. And in this tutorial I'm going to be covering making your own login screen. And if you don't know what I mean, what I mean is when you start the client and after this takes its sweet precious time loads you're presented with that screen of the bird flying across in your server selection and we're gonna design the image behind that so um yeah for this tutorial we're going to be using a flash decompiler and I'm going to be using flash decompiler gold and uh, remember if you use this program uh, it does have a lot of problems it hangs and crashes a lot so just be prepared for that have some patience but this program is free it says that you only get a 15 day trial but as far as I know the trial does not run out you can also use another flash decompiler uh, I have flash decompiler Trillix but that one is not free and yes yeah, so I'll leave the link to flash decompiler gold in the description so what you're going to do is you have your start.swf, or I need to back up, sorry about that. Um, you go to your conquer folder, you go to your data, your main, type in start, and you get your start.dat. Copy that, minimize the window, and paste it. And here's your file. Now, what I can do is I can just click that, erase that, and put in SWF. But what some people might have to do is uh, they might have to open up WinRAR, navigate to the desktop, which I'm already at, go to start.dat, click it, hit F2, and change it from .dat to .swf. But since I already have a .swf, I'm just going to put .bak, which stands for backup. So once you have your start.ws file, you're going to open up Flash Decompiler Gold. And if I were you, I would run it as an administrator. Once you have that, let the movie uh, do its thing. I found that this gives the best success on trying to open this file. And then double click the file. If you get lucky, it will not hang like it's doing now. And uh, yeah, you're going to have to close the program and just retry again. And I'm going to go ahead. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and show you what you're supposed to do once I can get it to work. So uh, yeah, anyway, let the movie play out and double click this and let's see if it works. It's not working, so just once you double click it, just wait. If it doesn't work, just keep trying until it does, and then resume this tutorial. Hello, I'm back again, and uh, finally got it to work. It took me another two tries, so not that bad. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the right-hand column. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, on the left-hand column, when you're looking for your start.uf, Make sure you're in the desktop area. You should automatically start off there, but if you're not, try to get there. But once you get your, your start.swf open up here, and it's not hanging on you, what you do is you go click uh, the plus sign on images, double click on image 10, select it right there, go to the left hand side, select edit images, wait for it to load, and from here you select the image you want, to replace this with and I'm going to show you uh, what you need to do for that so the size of the image you're replacing is uh, 1064 by 637 and um, so yeah you need to make an image that's 1064 by 637 
or 1024. You know what? I'm going to go check. You can find out right here. Yeah, 1024 by 637. So I'm going to go and paint, resize. 1024. See, I already did this. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and save this. It's going to look lame, but that's okay. I'm going to save. You can save it as whatever you want, but I'm going to save it as image 10. It just helps me. Wait, it already exists. What? But yeah, just save it. You can save it as whatever you want, but it, oh wow, it was right there. Okay. Um, but you can save it as whatever you want. It just helps me to save it as the same image I'm replacing. So once you have your image 10, and by the way, I just downloaded a Skyrim wallpaper off of Google and resized it to the right image uh, size. So go back here, edit images again. It'll pull this up. Browse for your image. Here's mine. Okay, and boom, here we have Skyrim, dude, just chilling. And, um, yeah, right here is where shit usually hangs again. But, uh, I'm just gonna click Save As. I'm going to name it Start Finish SWF and just cross my fingers and hope. And I have no idea if it's hanging. Um, oh, it didn't hang. Sweet. So just minimize that. And here you have your start finish dot SWF. So now you need to do the same thing you did uh, to change it from dot dat to dot SWF to change it back. So if you can, just do what I'm doing and make that dot dat. But if you can't do that, uh, open up WinRAR, go to the file, hit F2, and then rechange it. And also get rid of the start finish and just have start. So once you get this, I'm going to copy this, go back to your main folder, and paste it, overwrite your start.dat file. Go to your main uh, file area, yeah, sorry, and start your conquer shit. <laughs> sorry, having a retard moment. But anyway, once this loads up, you'll see. Yeah, I'm just waiting. It can take its sweet ass time. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just tick tock, tick tock. And now we And as you can see, I am left with a Skyrim wallpaper. So this tutorial has gone on a little long, and um, yeah, longer than I meant for it to go on. So now you know how to make your own login screen. And this is only like a part of it. You can go in a lot more depth, and I will create another tutorial for that. But for now, this is it, and that's the basics of how to make your own login screen. So I will see you for the next tutorial. Peace and love.